Where does that take you? It takes you to the greatest righteousness of the greatest Ghost faith because you're walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is Holy God Ghost in the earth today, today, and you walk with Him by saying words. The Father is My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining Jesus us. Right. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Ghost if this isn't your first time here, today. and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. First Thessalonians chapter five verse twenty-one says, "Prove." all things and hold fast to that which is good what if you don't hold fast to it could slip away mm -hmm. right why is he telling you to hold fast to something because mm -hmm. it might slip away if you don't mm -hmm. so you're gonna prove it and then you're gonna hold fast to something hold fast means to stand firm unwaveringly you don't waver from it you hold fast to it yeah. that which is good from this verse of scripture we can see that there are things that we can prove right yes. this isn't too complicated is it no. so far according to the scriptures there are things we can prove say I can prove it, I can prove it. which means that if you prove it you are the proof of it I proved it so there's many of these things that not only can we prove but we are literally the proof of it I call this the age of living proof we are living proof of things we are living proof of things well oh, how can you prove God I'm proof that he is People walk around oh, I don't know if God is I'm proof he is mm -hmm. I proved it by walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today we prove things mm -hmm. we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word in doing this I create a new reality to live in living proof that he is in the earth he is god in the earth today and i'm walking with him is this making sense i create a new reality to live in and i live in it it's a new society so the spirit lord said to me you go here are you here mm -hmm. he said to me you go here mm -hmm. and people either follow you or don't it's really that simple I go here people either follow me or don't mm -hmm. it's that simple but in doing so in me going here I not only possess the ability to do so to go here but I possess the ability to bring other people with me into this place if you continue in this doctrine it will lead you to a place behind the veil where you will know God in a way you never knew him before you might have thought you knew him but you'll know him in a way that you never knew him before the true and living God you walking with him in the earth is this any good mm -hmm. and then you'll what you'll prove you'll prove all things say I will, I will know, God know God and prove, and prove all, things. all things Daniel chapter 11 verse 32 the people that do know their God right mm -hmm. who's that that's you the people that do know their God God who God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits you shall be something 
say i shall be something, shall be something. And, do something. and do something and the something you do is exploits well if you worship the holy ghost as god you are part of this society like it or not you are part of this society because not everybody does you're aware of that right if you worship the Holy Ghost as God you are part of this society and you might as well learn how to be successful in this society and to prosper in this society there's a specific way to do it you are looking for your first exploit you are looking say i'm looking i'm looking for my first, for my first exploit. exploit you're in here you worship the holy ghost as god right now we've learned we learn how to walk with him here it said people that do know their god shall prove themselves strong and do exploits you're looking for your first exploit now these exploits come from speaking in agreement with god the holy ghost and it's a proof it's something you can prove it's something i'll be able to look at and go you proved it that's a proof spoken exploit you're looking for your first spoken exploit is this good or am i just getting happy all by myself and once you've done this once you've crossed the threshold of having your first spoken exploit by walking with the holy ghost and speaking his words you will never go back it's like a notch on your belt that is proof that you know the true and living God and walk with him in the earth can there be more than one exploit yeah after the first exploit you'll keep going yes. you know how you got there and you keep going mm -hmm. that would be number two number three it just keeps going you might even have to get a new belt you got so many notches in it but that is the proof that you are a bona fide member of this society it's proof matthew chapter 8 verse 5 and when jesus was entered into capernaum there came to him a centurion beseeching him and saying lord my servant lies at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented and jesus saith unto him i will come and heal him sounds like Jesus right verse 8 the centurion answered and said Lord I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed verse 10 when Jesus heard it he marveled and said unto them that followed verily I say unto you I have not found so great faith no not in israel jesus called this great faith what was great faith speaking the word only and having an exploit happen mm -hmm. great faith mm -hmm. say great faith. great faith the greatest faith is speaking the word only saying words and an exploit happens are you here mm -hmm. Romans chapter 10 and verse 17 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God to have faith come you have to have heard a word of God and you can't have faith for the Word of God you haven't heard and so much of the body of Christ is in a dark they have not heard the word of God so they cannot go to where the word of God would take them mm -hmm. so they stay where they're at in smallness of faith but we shall not stay in smallness of faith we shall go to the greatest of faith because we speak in accordance 
to the will and the word of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and we prove all things and we hold fast to that which is good Romans chapter 10 verse 6 the righteousness which is of faith so there can be great righteousness or there can be small righteousness we're going on to the greatest of faith the righteousness which is of faith speaks verse 8 what saith it this righteousness of faith the word the greatest righteousness of faith speaks the word only say I speaks, I speaks. the word only, the word only. <laughs> where does that take you to the righteousness of faith but it takes you to the greatest righteousness of the greatest faith because you're walking with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today mm -hmm. holding fast proving and doing exploits you're looking for your first exploit what vehicle does it come through it comes through the vehicle of faith of you speaking the word only the righteousness of faith speaks what saith it the word you become the righteousness you say say I become, I become the, righteousness the righteousness I say what saith it the word we are the proof the Spirit Lord would say I am looking for someone who will say these things you can't go there without saying them mm -hmm. and when you say them you go there you are the proof you become the proof you become the righteousness you say say I am the proof I am the proof and you're looking for your first exploit a lot of people don't have their first one yet look at their belt is there a notch on there yet you can see if the proof is there I'm telling you if you can listen to me you are looking for your first spoken exploit in this room in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God I worship you Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today then I speak one of your scriptures and I'm looking for that first exploit that comes out of that scripture and me speaking it are you here yeah. I don't know if I can make this any more plain mm -hmm. and as you speak it you become the righteousness you say mm -hmm. you become that you prove it Psalms 112 verse 1 praise ye the Lord blessed is the man that fears the Lord and delights greatly in his commandments verse 2 his seed shall be mighty when he goes to heaven no. is that what it says no. wait his seed shall be mighty upon the earth where are you okay. on the earth well that's good news then who else is on the earth with you the Holy Ghost yeah. his seed shall be mighty on the earth the generation of the upright shall be blessed verse 3 wealth and riches shall be in his house his what righteousness endures forever so the blessing and the wealth and the riches all come from his righteousness his saying the righteousness of faith speaks mm -hmm. what saith it the word I'm telling you the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today is looking for someone who will say these things wealth and riches shall be in his house say it wealth, wealth. and riches, and riches shall, be shall be in my house, my house. say it again wealth, wealth. And, riches and riches shall be, shall be in my house, in my house what if I say that well you already said it and I'll just stop saying it 
no you don't stop saying it you say it until the proof becomes an exploit producing that word in your life are you here yes. speak the word only and it shall be what shall be wealth and riches shall be in your house say in my house, in my house. Haggai chapter 2 verse 8 the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts is that in your Bible yes. Yes. the silver is whose the Lord of hosts is the gold is whose the Lord of hosts is his mm -hmm. verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former saith the Lord of hosts and in this place will I give peace and prosperity saith the Lord of hosts the latter house of faith will be greater than the former house of faith and we do know that this specifically here was talking about Solomon's temple and the latter house temple being greater than that mm -hmm. and that was pretty great but I'd like to just stretch you a bit here now where's the book of Acts that's in as far as the church age goes that was the beginning of the church age yes. so it was the beginning. the beginning right it's not the end that's just where it began Acts chapter 3 Peter and John they were going into the temple there there's a crippled man do you remember this mm -hmm. verse 4 and Peter fastened his eyes upon him the crippled man with John and said look on us and he the crippled man gave heed unto them expecting to receive something from them mm -hmm. verse 6 then Peter said silver and gold have I none but such as I have give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up and walk Peter said silver and gold have I none this is an excuse a lot of people would say they're saying oh you shouldn't believe for prosperity Peter didn't have any he had none gold he had none silvers have you heard this Peter was the former house was the beginning of this age are you the beginning of this age you're the latter house you're the latter part of this age mm -hmm. Peter was not proving or fulfilling Haggai chapter 2 you are are you getting this Peter was of the former house of faith we are of the latter house of faith the latter house shall be greater than the former the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts and in this place will I give peace in this place will I give prosperity but you must hear my voice heed my voice and follow me and I will show you the way to walk I will show you the way to go don't go to the right to the left keep going forward the Spirit Lord will guide your steps unto all that is for you in this day and in this hour and we shall know him and we shall stand strong and we shall prove all things we shall be the proof in this day and in this hour that the Lord our God lives he is God in the earth today and we give him glory and praise and his glory shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tither and offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost you are the Spirit Lord your glory shall cover the earth like the waters cover the sea I am that proof and I worship you in Jesus name amen in heaven Jesus 
us at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth to 